But as you understand, did they go? Did they go to Egypt, like escape to Egypt after Jesus is born, or did they return to Nazareth after Jesus is born? There are specific terms. I agree in in, uh, in uh, Matthew, Mark, um, like uh, the, the, the Son of Man. Okay, sure. that, that yeah. has a particular so um, Son of Man. Um, you know, Adam in Hebrew means man. So Son of yeah. Man just means Son of Adam. Um, but the uh, but Matthew has it that the family were originally from Bethlehem and uh, eventually um, they escaped uh, Jesus, to Egypt. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yeah, yeah. Both Matthew and Luke says Jesus ends up being born in Bethlehem. Uh, but Luke has it that um, the reason why they were in Bethlehem was for tax purposes. Correct. Correct. Um, yes. And once yes. Jesus yes. is yes. born, um, they return or they go back to Nazareth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas so, Matthew has it that they escaped to Egypt okay. after Jesus is born and then they remained there until, is it Harold? Herod, yes. Uh, is Herod. dead and then they're told that they can now go back. But when they return, they find out that Harold's son, Achilles, yeah. is ruling in Correct. Harold's place yes. and he's just as bad as his father and so they yeah. leave Bethlehem again yeah. and this time they find a town called Nazareth and they okay end. yeah um, again sometimes when the Bible uses the word days and things like that uh, it, it can mean a, per a period of time so um, okay. we, we have to uh, look, look into the actual specific words that, he, words that they use and um, see if it's talking about an actual day as in 24 hours or a, 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 a longer uh, I see time in that. So, um, but as you understand, did they go? Did they go to Egypt, like escape to Egypt after Jesus is born, or did they return to Nazareth after Jesus is born? I, I think possibly um, that they they return to Nazareth at a later stage. Okay, but I'd have to look into the actual historical account. Okay. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not s saying that. Sure. It, I'm yeah. not, I'm not, not saying 100 percent. Of course. But, but um, yeah. I mean, Matthew has it that when they escape to Egypt, then instead of going to Nazareth, they go back to Bethlehem right. because they're, they've told that now Harold is dead. Yeah, okay. um, but okay. now the Achilles is ruling in Harold's place. Yeah. And so they find that Achilles is just as evil as his father. And so yeah. then they have to leave Bethlehem again yeah. with Matthew. Okay. Okay. And then they find a place called Nazareth. So yeah. it, 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 it does seem like from Matthew's Gospel that Nazareth wasn't originally in the picture, but they were originally from Bethlehem, okay. and it's only because yeah. of the ruler. Well, physically where they were, the Nazareth that Matthew mentioned is, um, again, um, um, when it said he shall be called a Nazarene, it, it, the, the word N N Nazareth, the Hebrew word, actually uh, means branch. Uh, which is an epithet for the Messiah, mm -hmm. so that's what I think what he's specifically referring to. And, uh, but I think by the way, what's your he, he did go to Nazareth, to Galilee, uh, later stage, which is where he lived and did, did many miracles. It, it, um, you said Jesus is pre-existing in John's Gospel. Yes. yes. Uh, what about in the in the ver in the birth accounts? Like, does does Jesus pre-exist before he's born in in Matthew and Luke's Gospel? Uh, it doesn't specifically say that in, 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 in the Gospels, except that the um, um, Matthew does say that um, he, he should call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Mm. Um, and um, Ma Matthew, being a Jewish Gospel, um, people would um, uh, wonder about that. What he meant to be saved from their sins. Mm -hmm. That Jesus was a, um, a, a name that was also, um, a, as in Joshua, which means um, God, God is salvation. Yeah. So they will be familiar with with, with, with the, the name of Joshua. So, it, it, but is there any reference to Jesus pre-existing? Because it seems like from Matthew and Luke's account, yeah. Jesus comes into existence from the moment of his conception. Yeah, yeah. Um, that isn't gone into detail okay. as, as John, John goes into it. Um, John um, deals with the last uh, week of Jesus' life, specifically, rather than the, the three and a half years that Jesus uh, and lived there, and was born. And, and, uh, is there any place in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm the word of God? 
or um, it, I mean certainly yeah, there is okay. in John 1.1 1, 1, okay. uh, right. what John says about Jesus or the offer uh, yeah. but does Jesus himself ever identify as the logos or the word um, there's Aramaic targums um, John 1 which actually uh, could be interpreted as saying what the word was God was okay um, and, um, but does Jesus say so himself in the Gospels that I, I am the word of God or I, 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 I am God? I, I, I am the word of God. That particular um, expression doesn't come in again. Okay. Uh, uh, as far as I can recall at the moment. Uh, John um, that does say later in his Gospel that um, Jesus talks about the glory that he had with the Father before the, before the world was. Okay. Um, that, 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 that's in John 17. Uh, yeah, that's right. John I mean, 17 verse 5. Yeah, maybe. yeah. And also, at the, the end of John's Gospel, um, the, 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 the Apostle Thomas, who was a monotheistic Jew, <laughs> after he saw Christ rose from the dead, yeah. he, he said to him, My Lord and, and my God. Mm -hmm. he, 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 dressed him as his, he dressed him as his God. But in the Jewish, in Hebrew, can you refer to someone as God in a metaphorical or non-literal sense? So isn't there like quite a few examples of that in the Hebrew Bible, like Moses? Um, in in, a, in a Jewish um, belief, a, a man c c cannot be God. Okay. So, uh, I, 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 not in the literal sense, but metaphorically, you can refer to someone who has some sort of power of high status. Uh, well, well he just seen Jesus after he'd, he'd rose from the, risen from dead. Okay. So he, he was saying to a, a person standing before, in front of him, sure. my, my Lord and my God. And um, it, 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 Have you looked into the Greek word? Because um, in the yeah. Greek word, it's the same word that's used for the judges of Israel. It, it, yeah. Like in John chapter 10, what verse 33. Elohim, Elohim, Elohim. Um, what, 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 small G. Uh, I think it's, it's Theos, Theos or, or yeah, yeah. share that word okay. um, and, and that's the same Greek word that's used uh, in John chapter 10 verse 33 um, in reference to the judges of Israel yeah. because when the Jews accused Jesus of claiming to be God uh, Jesus says uh, God himself referred to you know to, to whom the word of God came to uh, as God yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. So he says, for example, is it not written in the Torah? Yeah, yeah. Um, Behold, ye are all okay. gods. Uh, he quotes from the Psalms. Yeah. Um, I think the 86th Psalm. Yeah. Um, okay. But the Greek word there is the same word that Thomas uses for Jesus in John right. chapter 20, okay. when he says to Jesus, uh, "My Lord and my God." Okay. Well, yes, in its. Um possible that uh, he, he could be addressing him as a man okay in, in, in the sense that um what about when when he's when he says to mary jesus in the same chapter uh touch me not for i've not yet yeah. ascended or gone gone to my father who's my father your father and my god and your god yeah so the, the jesus okay uh, it, it's possible to use god's uh, it, it, without the, a small, a small G, okay. when we're talking about human as well as divine. I see. Okay. Um, so it, it, it's the same thing in um, Genesis chapter 18, um, when um, it says that Lord Yahweh appeared to Abraham, and he saw three men at the door of his tent. Genesis chapter 18. Okay. Sure, but those, those should be understood in the context of other verses that speak of the transcendency of God. Yeah. For example, yeah. First okay. Kings chapter 8 okay. Uh, okay. speaks of right. God like not being okay. able to con okay. oh, be contained okay. in the heavens and the earth, much okay. less All right. a we're, temple we're, made right, by We'll man. continue on in the New Testament. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm slightly digressing. Okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. So in the New Testament, in the yeah. book of Acts, yeah. um, it also, like in Acts chapter 7, yeah. Uh, like Stephen uh, quotes, I think First Kings chapter eight about God um, not being contained in the heavens and the earth, yeah. much less uh, in a temple made by men. Okay. Uh, so when it speaks of like the, what you're what you're referring to is is it called theo not theodicy? Um, uh, uh, I forgot the exact terminology, but uh, basically like an experience of God. Right. Uh, but but these shouldn't be taken literally. But the angels should be seen as being messengers or representatives of God here on earth. 
Um, uh, divine, divine appearances, divine appearances it can be. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Good God. Can, can I, uh, okay. So, for example, when it says in the Bible that Jacob wrestled with God, it doesn't yeah. literally mean that Jacob wrestled with God, but actually wrestled with an angel. But the angel is the agent of God or the yeah, representative uh, it, of God, it, it because says, it because it says like it says he wrestled with a man. Okay, so we, 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 Christians can can say that that believe that is, that is a, a divine appearance of, of, of God. In, in I the mean, divine appearance can be like a, an experience uh, that a person has something that's um, almost transcendent, I guess. Uh, uh, but it, it doesn't necessarily physically God appears because this. There's many, many passages in the Bible that uh, s says that God is transcendent, like He's yeah. beyond the heavens and the earth. Yeah, yeah. Um, like he, He's not in time and space, but He made time and space for His creation. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, yeah, um, I, I think that the, the, the context of uh, Acts needs to be uh, actually so, able to... Uh, and also, you know about the glory that Jesus says, give me the glory that I had yeah. with you before. Yeah. Uh, this glory he also speaks about in the same chapter, about the disciples as well have been sharing in this glory. Okay. Um, like in chapter 17, in the same chapter, in verses 20 to 23, yes. um, okay. he prays to the Father and says, to the Father that may they also have this glory which I had with you and may we all be one as yes. you are okay. one. Um, uh, and there is a okay. manuscript variant as well um, with that passage as well, John 70 verse 5. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of a scholar called Raymond Brown. Yeah, I've heard of him, yes. Uh, his commentary to John's Gospel. Uh, he mentioned some kind of manuscript variant. Okay. Um, where it excludes any kind of like pre-existence. Um, I just forgot the the variant reading of the passage. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. But 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 you, you know a lot of the time uh, when it comes to the Gospel of John. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of the time um, it's in it's someone's interpretation. So it's not the uh, the exact words themselves, but uh, what we're told is what. Jesus says or what someone says about Jesus yeah. and then we're told uh, what is the interpretation or the meaning of this and so what normally happens is that we're invited to believe in a particular interpretation rather than the words themselves. Um, right well again I think that sometimes there's been Greek um, yeah um, it doesn't be readily translated into English um, okay. it, 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 so, so um, certainly Greek does um, um, need, need to be looked into, but just to, on this question of um, the, the glory, yeah. um, Jesus said, "Because you, you, you love me before the foundation of the world." So this is um, sure. um, uh, 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 Jesus expressing himself as uh, as being there before the foundation of the world. And so would this go back to because um, Don Carson is one of your like favourite scholars. D. D. A. Carson. Okay, okay. Well, I, don't, I don't know John Carson, but um, anyway, go on. Okay. Uh, well, he, he's an evangelical. Uh, he's okay. based in America, but okay. he's British, I believe. Uh, okay. but, but he basically says pre-existence doesn't uh, necessarily entail um, that you're God. You know, um, that you're, because the angels can pre-exist before uh, the creations of the, of the No, of the, the angels were created by God. Yeah, the, the, the angels are, but you know there is no. I mean, I believe that and you believe that, but but there is no actual verse that says God created the angels. It's just kind of applied that the angels are created by God. So so that so so that so, so, they're, so, so they're messengers. Yes, yes. But um, but there is no verse, actual verse in the Bible that says that God created the angels. Um, it's just strongly angels, applied angel, that angel, they're, they're angel created. Angel spirits. Yeah. But but. But, but some Jews believe that they pre-existed before the creation of the world. Okay. Um, but but, but, but um, with regards to the um, Jesus, uh, John's Gospel, okay. uh, Paul does speak of Jesus as being an agent of creation. So God didn't create the world, but he created the world through Jesus, which is okay. why Paul says, uh, for us, by him, by, by him, all things created. John, John yeah. says that. John says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, says so, that. so Jesus yeah. is able to 
and to do whatever he, he wants to do. You know, but, 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 but what John and what Paul are saying is not that Jesus is the creator, but they say he's the agent of creation. So God didn't create the world direct, but he created the world through Jesus uh, as the agency or agent of creation. Because um, Paul says, for example, that uh, for us there's one God, uh, maker of all, and one Lord, uh, Jesus, through whom God made everything. So he makes that distinction. God has been the maker of everything, and Jesus being through whom God made everything. Okay, well there we can possibly come into issues of God's triunity. Um, okay. what some well, well this, is a, this is not triunity, this only mentions uh, okay. God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, through whom God the Father made everything. Yeah. So yeah, Paul can speak of Jesus as pre-existing and John can also speak of Jesus as pre-existing. But, but neither one of them are saying that he is the, the ultimate God or the ultimate or originator of creation because if Paul, you look Paul, at Paul says in Colossians that he is the image of the invisible gods. Yeah. He's, he's, he's the expression the, of the, the image of the invisible he's God. Express, express image. He, he's, so he's, he's not saying, saying he's Jesus is the invisible God himself, but he's the image of yeah, the invisible God. He's saying it's the same thing. So well, I mean Adam is made in the image of God according yeah. to the Bible. But Jesus being the new Adam uh, is referred to as the image of the invisible God. Christ is the, 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 Christ is the second Adam. Um, yeah, the, the new Adam or the second Adam. Yeah, yes. okay, so Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews. So Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 is actually quite interesting. The image of his person. Yeah. Okay. But, holding all but, things by the word of his power. See, this is, goes on but, to... But even Hebrews doesn't refer to Jesus as the God, because in verse 9 of chapter 1, um, it identifies Jesus as not being God, but it says, um, Thou hast loved the righteousness and hated iniquity, and therefore God, even thou God, okay. has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thou followest. So Jesus is referred to as God's anointing. Okay, so talking about Jesus. In, uh, and he refers to Jesus as having God because it says thou talk, Talking about Jesus' earthly ministry there, his, 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 his earthly work. But even um, after the Easter, Jesus still has a God because Paul refers to Jesus as being the head of every man and the head of Christ as being God in 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3. Okay. Uh, well, again, the, so you know that the head of every yeah, woman is a husband. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Man. Well, he's talking about specific matters to the church in Corinthians. So it's, yeah. it's important to look at the, 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 the whole of the level of, of Colossians mm -hmm. rather than select yeah, yeah, particular verses course. from it. So, I, I mean, that particular chapter isn't to do with, uh, isn't really to, about the uh, divinity or the nature of Jesus, no, but it's no. more to do with relationship yeah. between husband and man yeah, and yeah, organizing yes. in the so church. It, yes. uh, but, he, but nonetheless, he does refer to Jesus as the head of the church and God as being the head of Christ. So right. there's a, like a hierarchy where women are yeah. at the bottom and God is at yeah, the top. Yeah, he's just doing that to emphasize Jesus. a point to Corinthians that are, are, are new and not very knowledgeable about um, the, 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 um, the things of God have a lot of confusion so he, he's having to write things to, 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 to address issues that were specifically um, uh, um, uh, uh, relevant to, 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 the, to the early church um, to, to the first century church so it's, it's important to remember that when we're, when we're looking at um, I see. Um, like um, uh, church related specific yeah. specific matters yeah. But what, what do you make of then uh, when Paul says that Jesus has a God? Paul, I, said, I, 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 well, well, Paul says that Jesus has a, has a head. Uh, just like Jesus himself told Mary Magdalene, um, I go to my God and to your God, to my Father and your Father. So, so, so yeah. that none of the writers of the New Testament are saying that Jesus is the God, but he's some kind of quasi or semi-divine being or agent. Um, Although Matthew, Mark, and Luke don't even say that much as well, um, John, they refer to him as the Son of God, but never yeah. God the Son. Okay, there are specific terms. I agree in in, uh, in uh, Matthew, Mark, um, like um, the, the, the Son of Man. Okay, sure. that, that yeah. has a particular so, um, Son of Man. You know, Adam in Hebrew means man. 
the son of yeah. man just means son of Adam. Okay. But of course, we believe Jesus was born of a virgin, like he had no father. Yes, yes. So there are different terms that, that, that need to be looked at. But I, John, John's gospel is clear that um, from, from the beginning, that, that, uh, um, what was, what was the word? I, I keep coming back to that. And in, in the middle, Jesus' is prayer to the Father, he's saying, he's just that at the end of John's gospel, the Apostle Thomas is confessing my, 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 my Lord and my God. And then um, those things are, are talking about Christ as, as being God. But, but is it like in a, in a quasi sense or a demi sense? Or is it like as you believe that, um, that he shares in ontology or like in the same nature as God the Father as being equal? Because he does refer to the Father as being greater than all and greater than I. Yes, the Lord Jesus will, will use certain expressions when he when he's talking to people to, uh, to try and show 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 them, um, mm -hmm. explain particular things things to them. Uh, and uh, again, these are our, 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 our first century believers, so um, he had to put it in a way that the context they understand. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Would you like to say something, one final message? No, no, or that's fine. I think I had to, okay, had to cool. have the discussion. Uh, uh, thank you for appreciating <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can talk again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.